Wait, 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 what is up, beautiful people? YouTube, my name is your Tessic, and welcome back to another episode of Tropical 6 in the tutorial series. In this season, we're doing a, basically a how to for beginners in Tropical 6. And every episode, we kind of focus on one thing and give you uh, a lot of tips while I play it. Now, last episode, we advanced to the Cold War era, and we have left off in the Cold War era in Tropical 6. And now here we are. I start and let's see what's going on. Normally, when I hear rumblings amongst our populace, I assume it is discontent. But in this occasion, it appears actually their stomachs. Uh-oh. All livestock conditions are decreased by 25%. Citizens consume one additional meal while eating. So, somebody got some tapeworms. Not sure what's happening in Tropical World. Now, generally, every episode, we kind of advance to the next one. Um, so, for each episode, we have advanced to the one after it or the era after it in Tropical 6. But this one, we're going to actually hang on in a Cold War just a little bit, okay? And the reason being because the Cold War is very, very critical and crucial time in your island, especially if you started the colonial era. What that means is this is the time where we're going to be focusing on a few things. One of them, we're going to really try to put our research points into high gear. We're going to try to put the work modes and the edicts in the high gear as well. Start looking at a few constitution things and start going into more sophisticated industries. Additionally, what we want to do is also start possibly focusing on building a college because we're going to open industries. They're going to need high school workers and college workers and uneducated. So the Pirate Cove will heavily focus on recruiting as many people as possible. So we might go negative, which is fine, but we might have some homeless people, which is also fine. But our population right now is our goal is to give ourselves a population boost because right now is where really more industries start to unlock for you. And you don't just want to really rush the Cold War. The colonial era, eh, whatever. World War eras, a little important. Cold War era to me is one of the most important ones to make sure once you go to the modern era in Tropical 6, everything is fine. So first and foremost, we got to take a look at, at the almanac like we usually do. Take a look at expenses, everything, all that stuff. So we're about plus 8,000 here. Not bad at all, right? Um... I complain about this every episode. I'll complain again. I'm not sure why construction is part of the expenses for the last 12 months because it, it really throws off the books, but I usually don't count anyways because construction is not an ongoing expense. It's a one-time thing, then you keep going, all right? Another thing I want to kind of focus on building on is a bank because we might need the bank to lend us some money. Um, as you can see, with the blueprint and the bank, we're looking at about $18,750. So that's a lot of money. Too much money for me right now. What are we looking at for college? Um, 15000 so not, not that much better. Uh, we're actually going to go for a radio station, so that can also be a source to make us money as well. Let's see. Uh, of course, they help you with revolutionary support. They help you with... Uh, um you know entertainment they help you they help with a lot of things but really my main goal of putting one right now is really to make money uh just another source of money uh revenue if you will and that's really what it is uh it's because we're gonna put like you know paper uh paid radio or stuff like that uh i, I forgot the work mode for it uh, hopefully hopefully we even have it researched i don't think we do let's take a look here um and this is exactly specifically why i said that right now is a time where we're going to need to really kind of vamp up our research productions, um, uh, production points. Because we're going to need it. We are going to need it. I see a few homeless people. Um, okay, you guys need some houses, huh? Okay. Let's take a look at what we have. Who do we have for homeless? Broke and poor. So we'll, we'll build a bunk house here. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's kind of what it is. Like I said, uh, you got to take your sweet time with this. Obviously, some episodes are kind of gave you the shortcut to how to go about things and kind of tell you how I do things and you do it your own way. Um, I understand I speak fast sometimes. Actually, not just this season, other seasons. People are like, oh, slow down. This is a tutorial for Tropical 6 where I speak so fast. Uh, not my intentions, but uh, obviously I'm not trying to make this into a 60-minute to 70-minute video each. Um, so you can slow that video down. You can always replay it if you need to, etc., so on and so forth. Or you don't have to watch me at all if you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? If I'm too fast for you, then you can watch another Tropical 6 uh, tutorial, guys. But we're building this right here. And we're building this right here. And next up, I'm um, thinking about a research lab. Let's take a look at a research lab. 
uh, gonna be under education. Medication. I just said medication. Under medication uh, and media. So research lab. So the three things we want right now are expensive. We want college. We want a bank, and we want a research lab. Um, so they're they're all pretty expensive. We can ask. We can start inviting um, some people here. Of course, right now you have the Western Powers and the Eastern Bloc. Let's go ahead and just invite anybody. Doesn't really matter. So we can start, you know, making maybe making an alliance and eventually um, asking for financial aid. I'm gonna go ahead and build this. Um, oh, it needs power. That's right. Dang it! I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Uh, do, 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 do. Yearn. A dot for each citizen employed. That could work because there's a lot of citizens employed here, but we do need power. I forgot about that. I mean, we're going to need power eventually. This is not the first time we're going to need power. Let's see. Don't we have a coal mine somewhere? Was this a coal? No, this was an iron mine. Okay, let's build a coal mine. And we're going to have to go with dirty power at first. It is what it is. And then eventually we'll go to solar. Uh, let's go ahead. Where's the mines at? It's a mine. Coal. Perfect. There's one situated perfectly close enough for us right here. I'm gonna put this bad boy here. Connect it, and we'll build the power plant somewhere here. Um, man, everything everything costs a lot of money right now. So here we are. Build, build a fast food or build a fun pier. I don't really don't care who wants to be on my side right now because I'm not worried about elections. So I'm gonna go ahead with the fun pier because. Um, People gotta use it more at first in this era, especially. Let's go ahead and build this up. Come on, give me some money from the dock. Oh, we got a good good amount of money coming in. This is gonna be tit for tat right now. All right, cool. I mean, sooner or later we're gonna need electricity, so I actually don't mind the fact that we're kind of building a power plant right now, because sooner or later we we're gonna need it. Uh, here is the power plant right here, right next to the coal station. And you can always you can always import coals. They're not really the most expensive the commodity to have. Okay, make tropical great. Progression of modern times. Now that war is over, Presidente, we finally have a chance to demonstrate your unlimited greatness to the world. And he is so excited. From your powerful elbows to your answering conviction that anything you say is right. Loyal, Benaltimo knows your good points. Thank you. Okay. But for now, we need to know what we need to do. We either join a nuclear club. Bar International Landmark, it's established tropical, uh, tropical as a paradise for tourists. So it's really up to you, right? Since this is a tutorial season, not so much how to play. Let me kind of break it down for you. So your bar major landmark will probably be the easiest, just the most time consuming because you can just go to the Pirate Cove, borrow whatever landmark you want. So if you want to just go to Modern Era, just go with a landmark. If you want more sophisticated and maybe eventually more military power, because once you have the nuclear program nobody will invade you then go nuclear but it's going to be a little bit more expensive not as much time uh, establish tropical as paradise for tourists obviously that one will have a lot of micromanaging to it because you got to make sure the beauty island is good you got to make sure you have enough attractions enough workforce for the hotels the motels the docks the airport etc so on and so forth la 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 but this easy this military and this really money so this is how you got to look at this for me um, since this is a tutorial and I'm trying to get you guys to the next one, maybe after this season we'll just make another season run an extreme difficulty or something. I'm going to go with Landmark because, like I said, it's going to be the most time consuming and, um, and, and it kind of fits the theme of the season, which is more a tutorial. This is not a, you know, money season. This is not anything. This is literally a Tropical 6 season for beginners. So that's why I'm not going to really the quote unquote hardest route. So. That's what they want, one of these. Um, usually they'll request something else after it. I'm not going to worry about it now anyways because I'm not, like I said, beginning of this video. I want to stay in a Cold War era for at least a couple of episodes before we move on. So, uh, Fun Pier is next. Fun Pier. We're going to go to the Fun Pier, which actually takes electricity. So, not bad thing that we actually got electricity. Uh, we're going to the Fun Pier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to the... All right, let's go. Here we go, Fun Pier, yay. So coal's working, let's go ahead and just up their stuff a little bit. Power drill requires electricity. Decreases will take that. Um, I'm not worried about additional two jobs right now. So we'll just up it a little bit. What do you want? Complete a sabotage Eastern block. Oh my God, I, I, I deleted the commando garrison, but we'll take that for now. It's not gonna hurt to keep it on the side for now. 
Um, what? Expected revenue not good this time. And we're in a negative. Yay. That's going to happen. That's, gonna, that's definitely going to happen. If we were at like more difficult uh, difficulty settings, we probably would have been negative earlier. But it's always going to be like this in a Cold War. Sometimes in a World War as well. So it's always going to be like this. Don't forget that. So here it is. It's open. We're just waiting for the stock, which is, you know, we're waiting for them to finish it here. Uh, I don't mind building one country house. Actually, one... I'm glad we even build a bunkhouse here. Just in case there's a lot of computer commuters there. Computers. Commuters. There we go. They're done with this. We're going to go ahead and rescue many, rescue many, rescue many. Again, I'm trying. We will have some homeless and all that stuff. But I'm trying right now is the time for me to go on to the next level for the industries and all that. Next up I want to do is a bank. Because not only that, the bank is also going to give me... Um, loans and I want a loan from the bank right now. So let's take a look at the trade routes That's also hurting us right now. So bananas we can bring them in at Negative uh, 43 per uh, for that and sell them out. So that's kind of what we're doing If you bring them in lower than you sell them out yet yeah, It is what it is. That's one easy way to make money right there. How many how many we have we have four left um, Canned goods. I don't have any canned goods right now cigars. I do have cigars so I could give you some cigars right here I'll give you 6,000 units. 5% is not really the best. Um, they want cotton. We can take cotton because that can also be used for the toys and or we can export it out. Um, gold. I can I can make some gold. I can make some gold. So we'll take some gold next. So there we go. How much is the next one? 10,000. So we'll chill on that. But they want some gold. Uh, we, we, we can definitely give them gold because I believe we do have gold in the island. I hate I hate that you can't zoom out once you once you click on that. Oh, perfect. We have one right here. There we are. And gold is built. So now we have some gold. I didn't do a big, uh, big signing for the gold because of two things. Okay, let me let me let me teach you another thing here because I have a lot of stuff I can teach you about this game. Two reasons. I mean, gold. Iron, uranium, those are things that are usually, for some reason, um, they're just, uh, they lack. They're always lacking, in the sense that, I mean, they don't get exported as fast as I'd like. Another thing is, I'm hitting two birds with one stone here, right? When I'm completed, I will get the their quote-unquote blessings, okay, by getting better completion. Another thing is, it's only 5% above, so I don't want to sign a great deal for 5% above, uh, I don't want to, you, you don't want to go like, for example, if it has 60,000 units for only 5%, don't do that. Do small deals here and there, improve your relationship with them, and then they'll give you better percentages in the next trade uh, next trade cycle. So always remember that as well. So basically, we took the deal for the bananas. The bananas are going to come in, they're going to stay in the dock, they're going to get sold back out. But I got them at 43% below the market, so I sell them. Basically, it's a 43% profit on that one. And one thing I did forget to clarify, some of you say you can get the state loan without it. Yes. Um, I'm gonna leave that as a last resort, but with a bank, you can even get at 80 a, a more a, a bigger amount for a state loan. Okay, so right now we're starting to go to negative a little bit. They're gonna get pissed off. My approval rating is not good anyways right now. I'll show you how to get that turnaround in modern era, maybe towards the end of this era. So right now, what I'm gonna do is enforce awesome. the wealth tax, make us a little bit of money here and there. Some people are not gonna be happy about it. Okay, but. It's just part of it. It's just part of the making money here and there, uh, and we'll go from there. So build a newspaper, build a hospital. Um, obviously, newspaper is going to be cheaper. So we're going to go with a newspaper, and I can also make the newspaper. I can also have it make me money as well. Right now, this is uh, has electricity now, but I forgot which one it is. I think it was... I think there was another and mode for it. May, may, maybe I'm thinking of something else here. I know TV station, all that. So, I mean, income is already doing good, which is good. Sometimes um, but we can build a, a newspaper right now. We're just kind of waiting for the economy to stabilize a little bit. We have more expenses in this one. So we're waiting for that to stabilize. And we'll go from there. All right. I don't really want... I don't really want to do it just yet, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to go ahead and take the first loan out. The reason, obviously, you don't want to do loan because it's more expensive on your island, and it's pretty, pretty dang expensive as far as interest and all that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do that, and we're going to go take a look at something here. Let's take a look. 
Perfect. So we do have plenty of people that are unemployed. Let's go ahead and build a new industry. Now, a new industry I'm going to do is probably going to be shipyard. I do like the shipyard. Makes a lot of money. It does make a lot of money. But obviously, a shipyard, is, there's much more to it than just, um, uh, than just that. You need logging camp and you need the lumber mill. So, and, and I'll tell you right here, produces planks. To get a plank, you need the lumber mill. And to get the logs, you need, obviously, a lumber, uh, which I'll show you, you just a second here. Let's go ahead and build this. And let's go ahead and so this is this is an industry that I know a lot of you like, but you also got to know that it's not always like the uh, the most money efficient one there is. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, it's not always the most money efficient one there is because it is uh, it does take a lot. As you can see, it, it takes lumber mill, it takes this, it takes that. So it does take a lot to to do. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna actually up the the salary here. Tree nursery reduces time for sapling. There it is, and it grows efficiency by that. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here as well. Go to take this, and I think there's actually um, a mode in this where you can have iron, so iron can be used to build even more expensive ships. Okay, so we've done that. Now, next thing I want to do, another industry I want to do since we took the loan, and we're probably gonna go into negative again, which is fine, a okay with me. But another industry I want to do right now is the cannery. Pretty simple one. We'll go ahead and do it and that also requires electricity so we have that right now so it's actually a good thing that uh, I, I, I'm I am intentionally built a um, something that required electricity which was the radio station because it's already making us money 3,000 so far so not bad at all so here's that we're building this right now so right now we have uh, two new industries coming should be very very helpful to the economy and everything in general um, they want a newspaper. I'm okay with building a newspaper because I'm also going to set it to the money mode because I'm trying to make money for right now. And then down the road, we can switch it up to uh, to, to increase our liberty. But right now, we can put it on a money mode. Okay, there we go. It's Penny Saver. Let's go ahead and click that for the newspaper. So let's take a look at our uh, homeless. I mean, unemployed, good. So fake and jobs are zero. That's what we want to see. We want to see demand for jobs, obviously. Actually, it's happening in the United States right now. There's... Too many jobs and not enough people working or not enough people applying, I guess. So a lot of places end up either closing or losing money. And that's kind of uh, in, in a weird way. That's what, what, what we're trying to accomplish here. We're trying to not have as many jobs available um, just for, for it. We were trying to have unemployment be around just a little bit. So this is why when we do build new industries like this, everything goes smooth and steady. So here is that. They need fish and or pineapple. I think you can even... Um, yeah, for meat, there it is. We're going to go negative again, but we're going to go ahead and take it for meat because we do have the meat. I feel like it's an Arby's commercial, like we have the meats. You know that one I'm talking about? All right, we got our first shipment of boats going on, 526 of them. So 17,000, not bad. Do we have any canned goods? Canned goods is also going out. So this is where we started cutting in a deficit a little bit and kind of uh, reward the fruits our labor slowly but surely because these industries just got um put up another thing i'm thinking of doing right now also because we have that jobs what do you want get out of here i'm not worried about no sorting right now hold on before i do anything let me build one here because i saw some homeless people pop up here and then what i wanted to do is build a few more teamsters or at least one more teamsters office in this section because there's a lot of goods being uh, moved around here as well. So here's that. So we still have the jobs. Yeah, we still have a few jobs here and there lying for him. We and for them to come. So there's that as well. And that's what it is. This is going to be one of the most, like I said, challenging eras. I always think it is. It's just because uh, there's more things moving around. Um, you got to start all over again with the politics, etc. So on and so forth. So you just got to do a little bit bit by bit. Uh, we still don't forget about the college and the bank. I'm still going to do that before the end of the episode. But right now, we kind of, like I said, we added two more industries. One of them is a huge one. Um, this one could make us a lot of money if it, if it only it produced faster. Uh, let's see. Increases efficiency by 20. Increases job. But let's go. I'm going to go negative, but I'm going to click that. I'm trying to increase efficiency as much as possible on this. Um, production lifetime so far. 
uh, about 8,500 minus the 4,000, so 4,500 right now so far. So we're not making, you know, bank off of it as of right now, but we're making good enough money. How's the newspaper making us 4,000 already, which is nice. How was the radio station doing? Uh, making us 6,000, which is nice. Again, it's just money, basically easy money for you right here. Nothing crazy, just easy, easy, easy money. All right, let's take a look at the almanac, despite us going negative here and there. How, how are we doing? Uh, so 74 in revenue, 59. Let's just round it up to 75 and 60. So 50,000 in the plus. Pretty, pretty good stuff. Um, as we see here, uh, let's take a look. Toys, cigars, rum. So boats is already in the top five. That's good to hear. I wonder how the cannery is doing. It's not getting as much as I'd like. You know what I could do for this one? Let's go ahead and build them a fish farm. Oh, 12,000. We'll wait on that. We got to build a fish farm and just build it right here so they can just keep keep getting all the fish that they need for the cannery. I'm actually going to relocate this building to here. I'm going to open a street this way. We can relocate it later. Once again, I feel like I say this every episode, but I am not worried about how my island looks right now. Although it doesn't look bad, but some it could be more organized, but I'm not really worried about that just yet. What I'm worried about is making sure we have a successful economy, and we'll go from there. That's what I am worried about mostly than anything else. So as you can see, when they're when they're 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 not like grayed out, that means he just got off. That's when they're producing. So it's not always like every industry you put the reason why it doesn't make you as much money sometimes they're not always producing 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 because they technically go home they do all of this stuff all of that stuff but um there's only one person on shift now and once he gets off which i'll show you again maybe you didn't know this once he get up oh, there's another person came so at least they're coming in different shifts which i like that usually there's just nobody there at all like nobody there at all so boats alone so 521 that's that's six thousand dollars right there Pretty good. Imagine if we just got thousand every time. Um, let's take a look at what do we have here. A uh, clean polluted area. I'm not really worried about that right now. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at trade deals. Anybody wants boats? They do want a boat. Okay. We could definitely deliver the boats for you. You know, we've been getting a lot of fires. I think uh, instead of the college and the bank first, I'm going to have to focus on building a fire station because we've been getting a lot of fires. Let's go ahead and build a, a fire station now. There we go. Feel better now because this is burned. This got torn down. This got torn down. So yeah, you get the idea here. We're losing a lot of money from, from this. We need we need uh, we need just a fire station for this one. So we're gonna build that. Um, besides that, what have we accomplished this episode? We obviously got electricity up. Um, we got two more industries up. We're working on relationships. Like I said, we're going to need one more episode to stabilize ourselves in the uh, Cold War era. It is a more challenging one. We, on top of that, our research is actually good. We've been researching more and more things. We're going to focus on it even more. The stuff that you see is the stuff that I would focus on, wealth tax, et cetera, so on and so forth. That's kind of what I would do. Actually, before we go, let me get another deal. Uh, let's see. Rum, steel. You know what? They've been really wanting steel more and more and more. I already have iron, so that's going to be industry we're going to do next episode is the steel. I don't mind doing that. Um, that is what we'll do. That We can we can make a steel mill because it takes iron, produces it. We already have an iron mine right here. We'll just slab the steel right here. So that's going to be another industry we're going to do. So we're building it. We're building it. And then eventually sometime with the cold war next episode i'm gonna show i'm gonna start uh, focusing and showing you how to get more and more support but for right now this is really was the tropical six version of how to stabilize yourself in the cold war once you get into it like i said we're gonna be one one more episode in this maybe one and a half more episodes hope you guys enjoyed it my name is your tessa i'll see you guys